everybody! I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. It is Friday, so we are heading into the weekend. For some of you, by the time you see this, it is already the weekend for you. So, hey, how's that Saturday going? <laughs> so, it is time for a house tour! So many of you have asked me to do a new house tour ever since I got a new house because I showed you guys uh, in my last house tour our very boho-esque type small house and it was uh, very colorful and had a bunch of stuff and all of that and you really really liked looking in my house because you know people really are they like looking at people's houses they really do when I was little I used to love when we would go driving at night and people had their uh, windows open and their lights on so I could just kind of see in a little bit and see what they had so I, I guess that's kind of what this is you guys are almost like driving past my house and looking in although I don't suggest driving past my house and looking in because I have visitor detectors everywhere so I do know if you show up at my house that sounds paranoid doesn't it anyway <laughs> I do actually have a visitor detector I just like to know who comes by um, so this is our house and I love it this is the Aubrey house from Bella Rose and it is gorgeous and I have I apologize in advance for um, anything that reses slowly or whatever I I don't know I've been a little bit laggy and I just got more memory in the computer I don't know if that actually is gonna do anything for me but <laughs> I guess we'll see anyway so this is our house and we come around the side here and kind of see a little bit of what we've got going on I haven't really had a chance to uh, decorate too much outside and oh the back here is really nothing there's no back door or anything so everything is just kind of uh, in the front and on the side here but uh, I love this house so much love 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 it's so beautiful so this is the outside of the house and um, I love it so let's head on in so when you first come on into our house you kind of come into this open area here and this is just a little um, entryway thing that I put together. Uh, this table is actually a bench. <laughs> you can sit on this table, there are poses in it. Um, but I needed a small table that I wanted one that was kind of cool looking and this bench popped up and I was like, oh, this is so cool. I wish it was a table. So I just made it a table and then we have random stuff on here and then this leads right into our um, dining area and we have the uh, modern farmhouse dining set from Cheeky Pea. I love it. I love it so much. When I was putting this um, this area together I actually had a different dining room table and I was complaining on Plark that I really needed something better and I love just kind of ran with it and she made this really beautiful set. I love it and yeah I'm sorry things are rezzing in as I am camming around but this set is amazing. I love it so much. And then this is our little um, I don't know breakfast counter. I don't know what you would call it. So I've got my computer here and just some random things. And of course any house of ours has a lot of coffee stuff in the kitchen um, because we like coffee and well Birdie mostly likes coffee she likes coffee more than anybody <laughs> she may like coffee better than anybody I've ever known so so we but we always have little little coffee things around and this is just a little sideboard with our cookie jar and our family rules and things like that and then we come around here and I wasn't sure what to put in this corner so shelves and knickknacks and stuff like that our entire house is filled with gotcha like we have so much gotcha stuff in this house and then we come in here into the kitchen now this kitchen set actually came with the house um, it is removable but it just fits so well obviously since it was made for this house that I just left it because who's cooking anyway right but I think it's really cute and just some random things that we have just to make the house look a little more lived in like dirty dishes in the sink and of course coffee and tea and then my mom 
Mopping Vale and our kitchen rules and this is our fridge actually. I know it looks like cabinet so it's not. It's a fridge. And in the fridge there is... <laughs> Did I put this in here? Uh, I, I don't know. I think I put that in there. I must have put that in there. Anyway, there's salad in there. If anybody wants to come eat some salad at our house. So anytime anybody stops by our house or sees a picture of our house, they love this tree that is on the wall here. I had nothing to do with this tree on the wall. This actually came um, already painted onto this wall, but everybody seems to love it. I think it's cute. I think it's a like kind of a cool little idea. I In my head, I kind of want to start putting um, pictures on some of the branches, like as a family tree type thing. But I'm not sure if I really want to mess with the tree all that much because people just seem to like the plain old tree. And this is what I like to call our fancy living room. Um, I don't know why I call it fancy, but it's just a, it's our nice living room with our nice couches. And it's just, I don't know, it seems very clean to me. I think we've sat in here maybe once. But I think it's nice to know that we have a place to receive our guests that's very, very nice. Little houses here that I just think are cute. And because it is now springtime, I am going to take out this fire, which did not come with this fireplace, actually. Um, this fireplace is a separate piece, and this is from Cheeky Pea. A lot of the houses from Cheeky Pea, by the way. There is a fireplace that comes that you can buy separately that matches this house. If you go to Bella Rose, um, all the houses at Bella Rose are completely decorated. Like they are decorated to a T. Oh my God, they are gorgeous. And you can buy everything that's in the houses there. Um, but I didn't buy the fireplace because I had this one and I like this one a lot. But this fire did not come with this fireplace. This came with another fireplace. <laughs> But I'm going to take it out and I'm going to fill it with like candles or books or something like that for um, for the spring. And then this is just a little area. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know what to do with this area. I guess it is for art or something like that. So I don't know. I just put this little, uh, put some window frames and this little pillow thing. It, it's cute. I don't know. <laughs> and then over here we have a bookshelf with some uh, random things that are not resing very well. Come on, res. Okay, anyway, they're res enough, I guess. Um, and our little family owls. And I uh, think that's, that's about it for that. <laughs> I don't know, I like books and I like to have a lot of books everywhere, so that's what we got going on there. And this is our family living area. So as you can see, I have pictures everywhere. I think when my sister came over, she was like, oh my god. But I love having pictures everywhere, and I didn't want to put pictures everywhere all over the house like I had in our last house. Um, so we just have them here, and of course things are rezzing in and out because that's second life for you. But we got our living room set here. More pictures. There are probably duplicate pictures all over the place. Um, because sometimes I just put up duplicate pictures because I like them and whatever. <laughs> or actually, um, when I have duplicate pictures, it's usually because I put them in one frame and I had them in one place and then I had them in another place and I just don't change all the things. Now this is actually my favorite. This is our vacation wall. And this is um, pictures from all the vacations that we've taken as a family. So if you start on the left, that's our very first vacation as a family. Um, after Riley and Peyton had just joined the family, I think it was. And uh, we didn't have Birdie yet or anything. Um, so that was our Bahamas vacation, and then Grand Canyon, and the Rainforest, and Greece. So I love these pictures and they make me so happy to see. And this is just our bathroom. I really haven't done very much in the bathroom at all. Um, I put up the, the tub and the toilet and the sink and kind of called it a day. I really did. Usually I, I do a lot more and I make it a very fun, pretty place, but I just, I, I don't know, I just didn't. Now in here, it's probably my favorite room in the entire house. And this is our sunroom. And oh my goodness, I love it so much. And we actually kind of had to fight Abby because she wanted this for her bedroom and I was like, no. 
<laughs> this is for everybody. Um, I think I might be the only one who really comes in here though, because we don't spend a lot of time in the house. But I, uh, I love this room so much, and I really wish everything would res. Oh my god. But we just have this really, I just, I love it. It's so serene, and I like to come in here and just sit. And I actually love it a lot more now that, um, it's spring because that makes it like a real sunroom to me. Before when you came out here and it was snowy, it was a little bit cold, but now it's not and things are rising in and out like crazy, but anyway. So yeah, so I have like all these plants and everything. I told people, you know, hey, potted plants are my new aesthetic. <laughs> I love all the potted plants, but yeah, I love this room so, so much. And then it um, goes out here into this little area which I'm going to change. I really haven't had a chance to do a lot with the outside area and uh, I have some ideas of what I want to do. But yeah, that's our sunroom and I love it. Okay, so now we are going to go upstairs, but I just had to show you guys the stairs first because isn't it it's like, the, these are like the prettiest stairs. I love them. So again, more potted plants um, and our princess pictures because this is a girl house, even though there is a guy who lives here, but <laughs> come on, Disney princess, and more little plants and everything. I just, I love little plants and little knickknacks and stuff like that. Um, I actually got the succulents plants from this month's arcade from the secret store, but res them out and lost them in some kind of weird freak accident, and I'm really sad about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's start with Birdie's room because she's got a lot of stuff and I will show you guys the little sleeping area I created for her and all that sort of stuff. Her room is a really good reflection of her. Um, so you can kind of see what Birdie likes and what she loves as soon as you step into her room. So obviously Birdie really, really loves Booger's Bears. Um, she wasn't too into the ones for this month's arcade, um, just because they were babies and things like that. She wasn't really into them, but the other kind of bears, oh my goodness, so cute. And Birdie also has some um, thing with zombies. And she tried to put this on the bathroom door and no. <laughs> No, no, no. And Birdie also really loves Harry Potter, so she's got her house elf and um, other little things here. And of course, her coffee corner that I created for her because she needs coffee in her life at all times. So this is the little sleeping area that I created for Birdie. It's a little house that I shrank down and modded and all that stuff. It's got her little curtains and everything. And Birdie also really likes space, so she's got some stars and uh, the planets there, and her moon and star shells, and her favorite color is um, kind of like teal or aqua. But let me tell you why Birdie chose this room specifically. I don't know if you guys can see through this window here. Oh, you kind of can't now with the, uh, the trees, but... If you look right in the middle of the tree there, there's a building, and that is a coffee shop. And Birdie needed to know that she could see the coffee shop from her bed. Or from any of the windows in the house. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can kind of see. If you look through the middle window pane there, you kind of see that little building? That's the coffee shop. Birdie has to know that she can get coffee at any point. <laughs> so that is why she chose this room. But... I don't know, this, um, I think this room is really cute and it's a really good reflection of her and who she is and um, so that is Birdie's room. And next up we will go to Abby's room and Abby's room is also a pretty good reflection of who she is because Abby really likes uh, pastel colors and pandas and giraffes and things like that. She's got her little play kitchen and look at her little giraffe, oh it's cute, I haven't seen that. So she's a little play kitchen and turn around this way. And Abby tends to be more of a dreamer, so I think that's really reflected in her room. And this area here is a greenhouse. 
and this greenhouse was made by Fiasco and I shrank it down and modded it and everything to make a sleeping area for her that would be very um, very like she's sleeping in nature because Abby likes gardens and fairies and all that sort of stuff so she's got this very cute garden thing going on here Although she saw the greenhouse from the deco crate for this month, and she asked me if I could uh, change it out for her, which I will probably do this weekend. So she's got her little fairy, and this, <laughs> I don't know why this isn't resing, but uh, you can kind of see that there is a table here, and it's just not resing for me. But anyway, there is one there. This is not just like random plants floating in the air. And then she has other little knickknacks and princess stuff, fairy tale stuff, and her birth certificate, and a little couch so she can read, and her view is out over overlooking the road there, but she also gets to see the ocean and the mountains. So then the last room is our bedroom. And I actually haven't decorated in here as much as I probably should or want to. But, um, we've got most of what we need, I think. So, this is my little desk area. Since we don't have a room, a computer room, in this house, um, I just pop the desk over here. Go on my knickknacks and doodads and things like that. I don't know, I, I love having a desk area. Like, I just, I just do. And if this house had one more bedroom that I could change into an office, I would be so happy. But this little area is good enough so i love it I, I love all my little stuff and then this is just a sideboard with a mirror and junk and charging and stuff like that and then of course pictures because i love pictures and then we have uh, this ladder here with some older pictures this picture oh my goodness this is such an old picture of us i think this was from 2011 like <laughs> Al doesn't even have any mesh on. He's got like system stuff with prim parts. <laughs> but that's such a cute sweater. I had a little iPhone in the pocket. But uh, I love that picture because we're, we're so young. So these two pictures, sorry, I'm not going to spend the entire time looking at pictures, but <laughs> these two pictures actually mean quite a bit to me. So the one on the left was the one that was on our wedding invitation. So of course I love it. And then the one on the right is what we use on our godparent panel. Um, when we got Abby as a godchild, so they mean a lot to me. And then we have just a little corner here with a couch and stuff like that. And then we have a balcony. So when we were getting this house, I actually kind of had to fight Abby because she wanted this room because of the balcony. And I said, nope, this is the master bedroom and you cannot have it because you are a child. <laughs> and so... When she's grown, she can have a house with all the balconies she wants, but when she's eight, nope. So I've got more plants out here. Just, I love plants. I love these little hanging ones. They're so cute. With a little candle at the bottom. I just, I like plants. What can I say? In my real life, I don't have a green thumb. All of these plants would be dead. <laughs> it is so sad, but here, I, I can have all of them that I want. Oh, and this is just a, uh, a little bench that we have when we want to come and sit outside. And uh, I like the poses in this bench quite a bit. So that is the balcony. Oh, before we end the tour, I don't think I showed you guys all of my wind chimes. Well, they're not all chimes. Uh, these balloons are just a mobile thing. But these are just some chimes that I have. I love wind chimes, so... Very happy to have these out here. I had them on our last house too. And they do make noise, but I think I have all of the noise turned off right now. Either that or I don't have my sounds on. But anyway, wind chimes, yay! So that is our house tour for this house. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know when we will get a new house again. Um, I'm not planning on it being anytime soon. <laughs> because I love this house so much and I really don't feel like redoing another house and if the absolute perfect perfect house ever came my way 
that was more perfect than this one for us right now. Okay, maybe I would tell the girls, all right, pick up your stuff, let's go. But until that happens, this is gonna be our house for a while, so yay. I wanna know what kind of homes you guys live in. Uh, the, on our last tour, I also asked this question and some of you told me the kind of places that you live. I would also like to see pictures. So if you have pictures of the inside of your house or do your own video tour or something, link me your flickers or your blogs or your videos or whatever because I would love to see the inside of your houses because I, I like to see stuff. <laughs> If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.